All right, so Yurazi moved up. In response, we go over to Team King's Empire. They're going to activate Orange Squad. Orange Squad is going to get an advance order. Actually, no, they're going to get a focused effort. So and they get together now when this unit receives a focused effort order. It's two tokens of its choosing instead of just one. So we're going to go double uh, inspired token. First one is going to take a shot at this Shirazi. It is in uh, terrain, so it will get... Uh, cover, so I'll be at minus two to my attack value, which is six, fifteen, defense of four, ten. So I'm at a thirteen to ten. I'm going to use an inspired token. Uh, to go to 15, they're going to stay. Uh, we'll use the margin to uh, plus one strength. So we'll go to strength four, armor five. Uh, 18, uh, so that is enough to kill the base. Uh, this unit will glory at the end of their turn. We're going to have the one in the rear with the sharpshooter take their normal attack. So they're in range. I get plus one AV because of the sharpshooter. So they're at seven, 13, to 12. We would go to 11. We're going to spend our inspired token. To go to 13. They will stay. All right. Armor 5, strength 3. It's a 7. That is enough for 1. Go down to our sharpshooter. So they've got six AV, 24 inch range, perfect. So we'll attack with the sharpshooter. 12, going down to 10 because of the cover, to 11. So that will miss. Final fire team taking a shot there. 15 because of cover goes down to 13. Defense 4. Add a 5. We're going to stay. Being at a 13, they're at a 5. Now that is enough for a margin, so we'll go to strength 4. Armor 5. That is enough for one. We're going to actually tactics token that. Goes to eight, still enough for one. But only one, not two. And this unit glories at the end of its activation, which is currently.
All right. Hormatanji is going to go. Let's pop up his card. So he has a tactics value of two, so we're going to gain two tactics tokens. He's going to get an advance order. He's going to use his commander ability, or his commander action, to use tactical action fellow of command. He's going to target our friend in the green. There, I need a six. Failing, we're going to go ahead and tactics token. That will fail. And we're then going to try it on the orange squad with his other normal action. That will go off. They will gain two, uh, in two shaken tokens. At the end of that action, this unit will decide the glory because they have their two shaken tokens, and that's how, when they're envoyed in, uh, they get to glory. And Hormatanji is speed 7, so he's going to advance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And he will be done with the turn. Okay. He's done. Okay. Charles Edmondson will go. Gain two tactics tokens. Pop up his card. So we're going to have him do volley fire on my mark. With his command, he's going to receive a focused effort and he will get a inspired token. He's going to do volley fire on my mark. He needs a five. Technically, we can get it to go off with a three because of our inspired token. Failing, we will use the inspired token to have it go off. We're going to target the uh, purple fire team uh, right next to him. They're going to go ahead and take a shot at the... Uh, lone Urazi with a fire team of Urazi with only one guy on it. They gain inspiration, they gain inspired token as a part of that. So they're going to take a shot, and we're going to actually go with the squad that had, or go with the fire team that has. The uh, sharpshooter in it, so they're at plus one. So they're AV7 for the shot. Starting at eight. Fourteen. 
we will tactics token that will get us to 18 minus 2 go to 16 it occurs strength 3 armor 5 Five battles, it's enough to kill the, the fire team. That retains its and glories. He's going to use his general action. He's going to go ahead and use his uh, sniper rifle on the Urazi. Starting at a ten, goes down to not, or goes down to eight. We'll let it hit. Strength two piercing. Three. Okay. Fourteen. Armor five. That's enough for two. Not enough for all. Okay, he is done. Storm Siren will go. Bring up her card. The start of her activation, she is going to eat a fire team. She receive an advance order. So she has speed six. All of the tide pools are now hazardous terrain to enemies. She's going to advance one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> She's going to target the forward most purple fire team. with Siren's Call. She's got a 24 inch range on this bad boy, so let's see if we're in range. We are indeed. It is a seven versus willpower. When she activates, she gives us three tactics tokens. Fourteen. Willpower six. Thirteen. She will tactics to. We'll keep on the uh, the seven, the fourteen to the thirteen. They are 
I'm not going to chance it. It's going to happen. So with Iron's Call, I'm sorry, I'm at 15. Target any fire team moves at speed towards this fire team or a friendly tide pool. And with two, you get plus one speed of movement. And with the ram that is built in, you get enticing song. While moving this target, you may move every other fire team in the unit a few distance. So that's super fun. So we are going to have them move towards this tide pool. And they are speed seven. Four, five, six, seven. That's touching, so that's going to be a hazardous check. Okay, uh, so he's going to take a hazardous three. So it is a strength three attack. Armor eight. That is enough for a dude. With her general action, she's going to cast it again. Targeting the same one. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, so that is going to be 22 to willpower of 17. So that is going to be plus speed of 2, 3. Three inches. They are ten inches. And we're going to have it center on this one. All right, so strength three to the one that's already damaged. Tactics token, 13. Eight, that is that fire team gone. Undamaged one, had to walk through two, so it is up strength four. 14 to eight, that is two. I'm sorry, this one is not dead. The uh, the sharpshooter will die and soak the two wounds. Because they have epic death scene. And the last one, again, strength four. 10, 8, so that's 1. So that's how the Storm Siren does damage.
uh, she will tag into the warped. So the warped or chloride. So they have echoes of existence, which is really what we're going to put to use here. Particularly if we can get some uh, masks. All right, so they're going to get an advance order. They are speed eight. Seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. One in the back is going to target the closest one. He's going to attempt to do his warp jump, which is Echoes of Existence. Nine to Willpower. That will fail. Uh, prior to it failing, I am going. Oop. They have to be the ones to spend those, so can't do that. Uh, next one into him. Be at a 19, I'm sorry, 18 to 19. That will fail. And the last one's going to try and jump. Fifteen. To 14, they will spend a Shaken Token. To make us fail. <clears throat> that is done. Purple Unit will activate. They are going to Focused Effort. Reinforce. Token twice. The unit with one guy is going to tag him. They are gloried. So they get some cool stuff. They get point blank. So Fire Tennis unit may take against targets they are engaged with that out penalty. So we are now seven we have an automatic mask we give out frightening we have barrage which is very vital so he's gonna take a shot there defending at a 14 attacking at a 14 sorry 14 to 17 Little tactics token. Fail. Next one into him. Defending. Five. Attacking. Fourteen. Tactics token. Fourteen. Okay. Okay, strength three, sixteen, dead. The last one, take a shot at the warped. Twenty 
to nine. Pretty certain it's nine. Yes, nine. With barrage trigger, uh, we will actually barrage and go strength four. So strength four hit six. Nine, it's up for dude. Oop, can't cheat. Because they are under total amount of men, so it can't cheat. So no damage. Uh barrage trigger. Twelve. To eleven happens. Strength three, ten, that's a dude. All right. Alpha Crawler is going to go. I need to grab a look at their upgrade we gave them. Just powerful legs. This is the first time actually so we get to do an addition to any other action we get. I'm sorry. It is a tactical action. It's not a versatile action. I would place this fire team within six of its current position, not touching any other fire teams. This fire team may then take a melee action against a target in range. Okay, so it's not an additional action, not a versatile. So that is a little disappointing. But we can still do fun things. Fun things mostly of Having him activate. Walk one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Drop a six inch aura. Oh, that'll be touching something. Garbage upgrade. That's uh, more based on how I positioned down here. It's more on me than anybody else. So they're gonna they're gonna get a rush order. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen. Ten. 
take a swipe there with his gruesome maw. Attempt to leap with his powerful legs. He does. I'll take his swipe. Eleven, nine, twelve. Strength. Three. Two. Ten. Eight. One dude. Just realized this squad didn't have its sharpshooter represented. Versatile with the massive arm. Seventeen. Sixteen. Strength five, nine, one dude. Rolling innards. Six. Seventeen, eight, strength three, we'll also flip them from glory. That's 15. That's a dead fire team. <clears throat> okay, Margaret Bell will activate. She will. Place there, focused effort, and a reinforcement token. She'll gain her two tactics tokens. She will spend one to flip the marker. Orp will go. They're going to get a rush order. They are 
base speed 7, so let's go 14 inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Four, five, six, eight. Okay, and one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. Okay. <clears throat> King's hand is going to go. He's going to check his range to Hormatanji. Golden. He's going to focus effort for inspiration. Inspire token. He's going to use his regular Gatling gun first. Ten. Two fourteen. Use tactics token. To go to a nineteen. Two fourteen. Difference of five, uh, we will power shot once. Go to strength four. Into armor eleven. Fifteen. One. Cracked legs. Damage it. And use the Gatling gun upgrade. Gatling machine gun. Uh, versatile attack. It is an area attack, which is super sweet on this. Is only strength two. The big thing though is the area. And we have the option for raking fire, which is pretty cool. Alright. So starting at a 14, defense three, nine. We're going to use our Inspire token to go to 17, sorry, 14, 16. Go to 16, to 9, is a difference of 7. Use the wide arc trigger. 
We can declare it multiple times. We can declare it three times because it costs two each time we use it. Uh, to increase the area plus one for each time we do it. So we go from area base of three to plus three, which is going to be area six. So six inches off of this is going to be affected by the area attack. So we do our area damage. So anything with strength 11 is going to be hit by that, or anything with affected with armor 11 or less uh, will be affected by that area. So these guys will take one. And area is always um, one damage. And one up here. So, and it can affect your own troops, so be very mindful of that. So area is not, not to be trifled with. Okay. Did that. Uh, he's got a soulstone processing matrix. That really help us. And symbol of the realm. We're going to try a symbol of power on him, just to try and give some shaking tokens to that guy. This is 15. Two, two, plus eight is 10. 15. Hold it there. They will hold it there as well. Plus three. So we are to 15 to their 10. So we can declare it once, they will gain one shaken token. No damage, but shaken tokens count up over time. And everything has activated. That is turn one, everyone. Good job. We did it, boys. We did it, Reddit. Got to turn two.